Hello and welcome, I'm Zevlin. Today I'll be playing Train Fever, just released um, on Steam. Uh, I've never played it before, just watched a few videos. Uh, let's jump right in and take a look at it. So, this is a business simulation game focused around trains. Um, looks kind of fun. The map is randomly generated with towns and the towns dynamically change over time. You start in the year 1850 and kind of play through the train era. Uh, as you can see here, you have several different world sizes uh, and train types. Um, let's go ahead and do easy difficulty at first. I'll probably be restarting this after I get my hands on it and maybe do something a little bit more challenging, maybe look at a achievement or two. We'll have to see, see how this works. So you could just do a random seed. I guess if uh, you liked a certain map, you can remember the random seed, type it back in, and start that map over again. Let's just start. It seems to load up pretty fast. Well, slowing down a bit. There we go. All right, well, I assume we're going to get little bits of tutorial here. Um, go ahead and show these to you, uh, even though if you buy this game, you'll see them for yourself. Let's see, before you start building your trans uh, transport empire, it's worthwhile to get an overall view. The camera, oh, this is really small. I can barely read this. <laughs> the uh, camera navigation works as follows. So you can, let's see. Hold the right mouse and drag around like this. You can rotate by holding the middle mouse button. That's cool. Kind of. All right. You can tilt. Just did that. And zoom. All right. Pretty, pretty standard. This is the map itself. You move around with the WASD keys. And as you see here, the tutorial step one, uh, bus line and train line. So the idea from what I can tell is you use trains to get people from town to town and get goods from say, whoa, that zooms in really fast. Say like this is an oil refinery. Uh, I'm assuming there's some oil somewhere. That is a very, very fast zoom. Um, and you get those to town by train, and then you can use buses as small or in-town things to get people to the train stations and stuff. We'll have to see. Let's set up a bus line. So, step one, a bus line. Build two or more bus stops. Let's see. Click on Roads button in the construction panel. Shore hide list of vehicles, stations, shore hide list of towns. Shore hide list of industries. Oh, that's kind of cool. Industry list. So a whole list of production that you can sort through. Limit. So I'm assuming this limit can go up in some fashion. Uh, requirements. So I guess the coal mine produces coal but doesn't have any requirements. Well, that's kind of cool. So look here. You see where the coal mines are. You can search by products and then see what the requirements are and get those to places. That's that's neat. All right, so roads. Here we are. I guess this is the construction tab. Landscaping It's kind of cool. You can raise or lower. That's neat. All right, so roads. Stations, streets. Depots, street upgrades. Huh, that's neat. I can build, say, a road from here to there. 25k. How much? I have 3 million up here. Let's just build it. Let's see what happens. Okay, um,. Let's get back to the task at hand. I'm getting a little ADD with all the stuff to build and look at. Uh, let's see, what is this? Tramway. Oh, cool. Trams. Depots. Um, click on the stations button. Depots. Stations. Okay, so stations. Oh, 
bus tram, truck station. Okay, so bus tram stop. Hold the mouse wheel over the sidewalk of a street. Okay, so I can build bus stops. Oh, here we go. Look at this. Look, let's get real low. Let's look at look at all these people, and I can build a bus stop in here. Look how nice this looks. This is quite cool. Can't build it there. All right, let's take a look. Where do we want our bus stop? So I'm considering, because this is in this corner, and I might build trains, say, here or here or here, I kind of want my train station to be over here. So if I want my train station to be here-ish, let's say, speaking of which, I'm gonna build streets. Let's build a nice street right here. And I'll build my train station somewhere in here. So that means I need my bus stop Let's build the bus stop over here so that people don't have to cross the road if I build a train station. Right there. And hey, look, an achievement. First bus stop. Yay, I love worthless achievements. <laughs> Not really, I'm being sarcastic. I actually like achievements that help you achieve something or make you achieve something. All right, let's look at this town here. There's a little farm or something there. No, I think they're building something. Hey, look at that. There's going to be a new building there. It kind of looks like this is the denser part of town down here. So, and it doesn't exactly look residential, though it might be. I'm going to build a bus stop right here because, I don't know, because I can. Because I think people will walk, so people from over here may walk, but people from over here won't. So I'm hoping they'll walk over here and get on the bus. Okay, I have two bus stops. Let's push next. The first line, let's see. Lines button in the construction panel. Data layers. Oh, that's cool. All right, was the lines button over here? List of stations, list of towns, list of industries, company finance. Must be in the wrong spot. What's what's this? Lines. There we go. Lines. All right, let's manage lines. Um, click on the new line button right here. Okay, add station. Click the bus stations in the order that you want them to be added to the line. So let's make this, so let's go out from here. Let's go here. To here. There we go. Ah, I see why you want, you really do want to make sure you have everything set up. That's cool. So if I'd had it on this side, it'd have to like take some crazy route to get on the correct side of the road. So this way it just makes a little circle through town. So I could add like bus stops along here to make them rotate like this. And then I can maybe set one up on the other side of the street going the other way. I don't know. Or make, maybe make a second line that goes around. I'm panning the camera around a lot, I just realized. Okay, let's see what else we need to do. Clicked on them. If you're happy with the line, click the Add Station button. You can remove stations. Okay. So Park Grove and Park Lane, or The Grove and Park Lane. Load if available, full load, full load all. Let's full load any and full load all. I don't know. Anyway, let's just load if available. Add station. 
Pocklington is where I've started my company. Started uh, Transportation Empire in Pocklington. All right, so next, let's set up a bus line. I thought I just did that. <laughs> All right, uh, build a road depot. Mm, roads, no. Stations, depots. Okay, so we have a road depot and we have a tram depot, so I need a road depot. Let's build our road depot. Probably over, let's build it right here. That looks good to me. Okay, so we built a road depot. Click on the depot button in the sub menu. It would be nice if this had like highlighted things you needed, you know, like. Okay, I already did that, place the depot. Note that if you want to place the depot within the town, you first need to bulldoze buildings. Cool, you can, you know, kill houses. Seems like a good idea, right? Just bulldoze the whole town, start over. All right, let's see, the first bus. The first bus. All right, let's click on the depot you built in the last step. Note that the window pops up, okay. Boom. Road Depot, right? Thought this was supposed to go away. Well, that's quite cool. Expenditures, incomes. Let's just get rid of this. I might need this later. I'm not sure. Yeah, I'm sure I can find it again. <laughs> All right, let's see. Buy roads. I rode vehicle. Okay. So I can buy a stagecoach or a horse wagon. A two horse vehicle with a simple twin axle carriage. So there's not really buses in 1850, which is, I think, when we're starting. Right? 1851. Oh, I'm time's running. Maybe I had a pause. Okay, let's pause. Let's not waste years. All right, let's see. We have horse wagon, capacity, wood, oil. Okay, so this is for goods, and this is for passengers. I'm going to hold five. All right, let's buy it. Set line all is what it's telling me to click. I don't know what that does. Set line all. I'm guessing because maybe it'd be a drop down list if I had more than one line. I don't know. Set line, line all. Line one, line all, line one. Okay, got it. So line one. Line one. Let's name this to the train. All right, to the train. Now I'm still still editing. Okay. How do I unstop editing? Done. Done. Done editing. Okay, just go away. Still called line one. Line one? No. Okay. To the train. Two? No, that looks like four. Ah. Okay. Enter. There we go. Now I have my first line, I think. Road depot. Road vehicle one. Let's name this two no two train one hit enter 
Park Lane. Okay, let's close all this. Let's hit. Bus starts moving. Yes, the bus started moving. Can I do the... Can I follow it? Oh, yes. You can follow him around. That's pretty cool. Alright, he's going to go over here, I think. Actually, he may go all the way over because I set that other one as number one. I'm not 100% sure. Nope, it, it knew to go here because it was closest. That's pretty cool. Congratulations, the first bus has arrived at Park Lane. Hey, another achievement. All right. I guess that was it. There's no, like, finish, just a previous button. Let's assume that's it. That's fine. All right, let's set up a train line. Boom. Before you start, choose two towns. Uh, the distance be between the towns shouldn't be too large. The train should be about the same level, preferably near a river or lake. The town should be about on the same level. Why prefer, hmm, preferably near a river or lake? Next. All right, well, let's pick two towns. I am, of course, going to use Plockington as my base of operations. And it looks like I have a nice little path to sheep Shipshed. Shipshed. You just kind of follow this road. And go to Shipshed on this side. All right, I got a first passenger. Quite nice. Okay, well, let's go ahead and pause it again. So I have my two towns. I want to maybe build a road. Build a road. Oh, there's already a road here. That's fine. Okay. So, uh, click on the tracks button. Click on the station button. Okay, so it's probably going to be the same thing. I need a station, and I could build one for goods. And I can build one for peoples. I can build different platform lengths. It's interesting. Um, I wonder how I rotate a building. Let's see, place the station by pointing to an existing street or by pointing to an empty land using the M and N keys to rotate the station. M and N. Those are interesting. Okay, well, we're going to put the first station in Plockington. And I'm going to put the first station in Plockington right over here by my bus station. I guess I'll... Should I mine the farm? Do I care? Where's my bus station? Zoom way in here. Can't build it there, I guess, because of the bus station. All right, well, let's build right by the bus station. Bam. Hey, look, train station. Cool. All right. Um, do, 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 do. Click if ready to build. If you build the station freestanding, don't forget to connect with the street. Okay. Repeat these steps to build the next train station. Easy enough. This seems like a pretty simple little game as far as like building stuff. Pretty easy to control things. I'm going to build this right. It's kind of weird. Maybe I should build it out here. Well, I actually kind of want it to go this way because I'm gonna use this to go over there as well. I'll build it on this side of the road. Well, looks if I'm not gonna be going over here, most likely. Yeah, let's just build that. We'll worry about the rest later. 
Okay, done. Connect the two stations. Okay, well, I guess I'm going to have to build tracks. What's all this stuff? Train depot. Oh, tracks. I oh, gotcha. Alright, so... Okay, circle turns blue. Drag, press, and hold the mouse to plan track segment. Then release. If satisfied, the current track... Wait, if satisfied with the current track, click the green check mark. Otherwise, drag the endpoint as desired. Whoa, I don't want a tunnel. That's expensive nonsense. Alright, so it looks like those little segments show my max miles per hour. Unfortunately, it's kind of covered. So that would be 118 instead of 120. Probably want to keep it around 120. I don't think any of the trains in this era go that fast. However, this will keep me from having to rebuild. So, yes. No. No. What the hell? Oh, that's bridges. I could build a bridge over the farm. That's kind of cool. I kind of want to do that. <laughs> I'd probably make the farm go away anyway. All right, so that's 120. I need, no, 107, 120. I think I'll be fine with that. Oh. Okay, that kind of curves. I don't really want it to curve, so I'm gonna go ahead and build that segment. Collision, train alignment collision. Okay, so. Weird. How do I get across? Guess I can't do it at that big of an angle. Let's build that one. Build that one. Let's build that one. Alright, so and then let's build this last segment. Alright, we're all connected. Repeat these steps until the two stations are connected. Great. Alright, let's build a train depot. Okay. This one's depots. Let's build a train depot. Um, uh, build this. Not too far from a station. Okay, I can't seem to build it. Stations, depot. Oh look, I can build a depot right on the end of this. Do I want to do that? Will I go this way at all? Ah, I see. So I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna build some track. I'm gonna build a little section out like this. And maybe a little section like this no doesn't like that let's cancel that all right let's look at the depot again all right look at that train depot and it can go right there yeah I don't know if I can do something like this no no okay nope Anyway, I was trying to build a little, like, triangle. I don't know. I was trying to get fancy. Probably shouldn't do that when I don't know what I'm doing. 
All right, let's see. Click on the depot button, place the depot. By pointing, if I could read, I would have figured it out that I could have to build it at the end of the track. I mean, it makes sense. The train's not just going to jump onto the track. All right. To the end of the branch you've just built. Nah, no thanks. All right. Click on the lines button in the construction panel. Okay. New line, add a station, let's click here. Add, click here, oh, there. Okay, that's fine, we can do it this way. And do I get to like drag and drop, remove these in any way? Station, add. Name this Lock to Ship. Lock to Ship. All right. Okay. Add station and okay. Click on the depot. Buy train. Let's look at our trains. Hey, I have tank wagons, good wagons, open wagons. Uh, Spanish Brutal Ban Car. <laughs> Named after a Baden specialty. All right, well, let's look at this train. Top speed, 40 kilometers an hour. Uh, weight, uh, yeah. 120k a year, 30 years, let's buy. Select a wagon and click buy. Repeat as desired. Okay, well, I think this holds six passengers. This holds iron ore and coal. Okay, so I want passengers. So let's buy. Let's just do one car for now. Uh, train one, set line, close to buy trains window, in the depot window, set line all, block to ship, okay, cool. Oh, that's kind of cool, all right. Okay. And so as you can see, this one actually see this one does a circle. This just goes back and forth over the line. So I'm guessing it's probably better to have two lines on high traffic areas or have some sort of two line area with little stops. Okay, well, that was the tutorial. So I'm gonna go ahead and take a break here. And next time we'll maybe play around with building a little bit of a line and see if we can get something going.
see you next time. Thank you.